You can't park here. Why not? Is this not a reasonable place to park? Reasonable? You're parked on the lawn! <laughs> Sorry! I can't be late for my big moment. Well, well folks, we've, we've had, had plenty of worthy, worthy winners, winners, but now, now it's, it's time, time for the number one prize. The, the big fish, fish the, the crown jewel, jewel the, the golden boot! Ah, I'm just in time for my award. Nice of you to join us, El Matador. Yeah, only two hours late. Award ceremonies are so boring. Yep, keep telling yourself that, Shakes. It'll make it easier for you when I win the golden boot. And the, and the nominees, nominees are... Oh, here's my moment. Rihanna from, from Barca, Barca FC. FC. El, El Matador from, from Super Strikers. Strikers. <laughs> Scar from, from Invincible United. United. And Shakes from Super Strikers. And the winner... But I'm not gonna make it this easy for you next year. <laughs> Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Once again, your team carries you to the trophy. Well, maybe you should try to pass to your team once in a while. It really helps win those trophies. Please, look at him. If it was just you versus me, I'd win every time. Pity there isn't a the biggest cheat award, because then you would win every time. Wow, guys. Oh, guys. First, First Super Strikers won the league last, last season, and now this? I couldn't have done it without my team. You hear that? I, he couldn't have done it without me. Well, well anyway, anyway thanks, thanks, everyone. everyone. Looking forward to an even bigger challenge next season. <laughs> Why wait till next season, Shakes? Mr. Shakes, what's this? Dear Shakes, Miss Altibu invites you to her private island for a soccer challenge like no other. Ah, oh, come on! You get the golden boot and the fancy golden letter? No fair. Mr. Matador. Now that's more like it. Dear El Matador, your car has been towed. Huh? Ah! You really thinking of going to that island, Shakes, ma? Well... It would be nice to do something different. But you're going to miss out on the end-of-season barbecue at Dancing Rasta's house. Relaxing in the sun. Listening to groovy tunes. And chowing down as much delicious grub as we can fit in our bellies. It is important to take a break, Ma. Don't worry. I'll be fine. What's that, Skara? Hey, back. Shortly. Welcome to El Tibo's Island. Whoa. Hi, Shakes. Ah! El Matador, what are you doing here? Eh, my invite must have got lost in the post. <laughs> Very funny, Shakes. <laughs> Shakes? Hey, guys. Hey, Shakes. Hey, what's, hey, what's hey, happening, man. dude? Well, well, well. It's Mr. Golden Boot himself. I see you're about your babysitter, Shakes. <laughs> ha! The only thing I sit on is chairs. And sometimes the ground when there are no chairs available. So, what's this all about? I don't know. Haven't seen anyone since we got here. Huh. Probably trying to sell us timeshare. Gentlemen. <laughs> I'm offering something much more exciting than that. The challenge of a lifetime. An idyllic tropical island converted into the ultimate testing ground for the ultimate footballers. Dribbling, balance, stamina. This is your chance to test your skills against your greatest opponents. Then, 
The last two standing will face off in the ultimate soccer showdown. And why should we play in your little tournament? Yeah, what's in it for us? A chance to find out which of you is truly the greatest player of your generation. But... If any of you aren't feeling up to the challenge, my planes are available to take you home. Yeah. Why don't you losers go home and have a skinny frappadappuccino? I'll stay here and win. Not a chance, Skara. Oh, you gotta stay, Shakes. I'm gonna show everyone why I should have won the golden boot. All right, let's do this. I'm so sorry, Almatador. My tournament is for award winners only. Cruel fate. Why do you hate me? Why don't you just go and relax in the VIP lounge? Hmm. <sighs> There's a complimentary gift bag. Gift bag, eh? It will be mine! For the rest of you, destiny awaits. Good luck! I'll see you at the finish line. <laughs> if you survive that long. <laughs> Ready for some good old holiday fun, eh, Shakes? Yeah, just wish I brought my swimming trunks. Ah, it's good to take a break from football, man. So, here's the game plan. No chop. Watch the rear. Rump is sizzling, Captain. Cool Joe. Keep working them wings. Got you, brother. Twisting tiger. Make some space in the center. Ah! Already on it. El Matador, you... El Matador? Where's El Matador? Probably running late. Again. Uh, guys, you got to see this. This is the biggest TV I have ever seen in my whole life. It's a beautiful day, Klausmann. Why don't you come outside? But the television has 3D. Um, outside is 3D. Yeah, but does outside have a built-in built karaoke, karaoke function? function? La, la. Run for your lives, brothers. <laughs> la. Do not trip or slip or fumble when you rumble in the jungle. Oh, out the way, puny man child. Super Strikers may have finished top of the log, but you know nothing of jungle combat. This pathetic island is like under 13 training at Iron Tanker! Whoa. Intense, bros. Yeah, looks dangerous. <laughs> Race you. VIP lounge. This sucks. Oh. Station one. Almost through the rumble in the jungle. Excellent. Station two. The pillar thriller is uh, ready for action. Eh, uh, those challenges are nothing compared to finding the VIP lounge. More like very impossible to find lounge. <laughs> Scar, you jerk! Why did you take out Liquido? Yeah, yeah. most dishonorable. You losers can hold hands and sing kumbaya, but I'm here to win. Uh, guys, we've got a problem. A big problem.
Keep the ball up on the pillar thriller, and try not to fall. The drop's quite a killer. Huh? Did you guys hear that? Hear what, exactly? That's a long way down. Ready to join the team? Just pass it! Chuck, don't! <laughs> Scott! Scott! Yeah, yeah, we've been over this, I'm a bad, bad boy. Now, which one of you losers should I take out next? Bingo! <laughs> Scara, sad to see you eliminated. Our audience was loving your rivalry with Shakes. Audience? What audience? <laughs> you were on my brand new reality show. Standing by. Soccer Island. Pillar Thriller. Scara fails, Shakes prevails. There are four superstars left. But only two will make it to the Volcano Showdown, and only one will be crowned the King of Soccer Island. This whole thing is fake? I prefer the term scripted reality. Now, why don't you catch the rest of the show in the VIP lounge? And watch Shakes win? Yeah, right. I've had enough of Loser Island. Dudes, that looks so good. Oh, yum. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> Not so fast. Just a few more minutes, man. I want this meat cooked to perfection. Guys, you gotta come see this. Hey, Klaus, how many times we gotta tell you we're not gonna listen to you sing karaoke? No, you guys really gotta come see this. <sighs> Shakes is on TV. His big secret elite tournament is... A celebrity reality show? Uh, reality TV is so lame. It's all fake, you know? Totally scripted. Come on, guys. <laughs> the barbecue waits for no one. Yeah! 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 Who is in hot enough form to make it to the volcano in Flamo? An epic final showdown above scorching lava. Could watch for a few minutes. <laughs> Is this the VIP lounge? Pouches seem comfy. Not sure about the weird decor, though. But no gift bag. Huh? Please, oh please. Uh, I'll never find the VIP lounge. Why are you even bothering? They won't let you in. You didn't win an award. Uh, yeah, except for the Super League trophy. Heard of that one? Whatever. Huh? What do we have here? Time to give you losers a dose of real reality. this party. Altivo, we found the source of the interference. Auxiliary control room three. Scara. I'll call security. No, I have a better idea. 
If there's one thing the audience loves more than a hero, it's a bad, bad villain. Volcano Soccer, here we come. You know I'm not going easy on you, my friend. Wouldn't expect any less, dude. Shakes and Riano head for the final challenge, but they don't know that an evil force is at work. What? Scara? Dude, told you it's all fake. Why would Scara be in the control room? If I can't win, no one will. Some holiday this turned out to be, eh, Shake? Don't worry. I got you, dude. I don't think so, my friend. Looks like I let you off easy again. I guess this means Shakes has won it. All right, I'll admit it. This is kind of cool. For reality TV. Kind of cool? That's the most insane thing I've ever seen! Wow, it's like I can actually smell the smoke from the volcano. Oh, no, man! The barbecue! <laughs> okay, are we done here, Altivo? Riano's out. I'm the only one left. Huh? The game's changed, Shakes. Ah! No! Come on! How did you get back into the tournament? Oh, wait. Let me guess. You cheated. Boo-hoo! Pity there's no ref for you to winch to, no teammates to carry you, and no Super League rules to hide behind. Now we'll see who's really the best. He's a natural. Audience is waiting. Let's get the ball rolling. Shall we? <laughs> you lose, Shakes. No matter how many trophies you win, you'll always know that one on one, I'm the king. Huh? Rocket! Uh, oh, brother. I can't look. Uh, 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 now the whole world's gonna see who deserves the golden boot. What are you talking about? Cheer, slow. None of this is real. You're on reality TV shakes. But not for much longer. <gasps> huh? Uh -huh. <gasps> what? Uh, shakes! If we're on TV, your ratings are about to take a dive. Uh, no! Still no VIP room? I just can't win. El Matador wins! How did he get up there? I don't know, Miss Altivo. He's supposed to be in the VIP room. They fought through the jungle, balanced above the abyss, held their nerve in the murky depths, and battled it out above a fiery volcano. But only one player had the skill, bravery, and stamina to become the first ever champion of Soccer Island. <laughs> I always knew I had it in me. <laughs> What is Soccer Island? All that planning, all that hard work. You can't control everything, Miss Altivo. It is reality TV. You're fired! You idiot! You let him win? He's not even supposed to be here! Why don't you complain to the ref? All right, there isn't one. Shakespeare! Shakespeare. Shakespeare. 
I'm glad you're all right, man. Me too, my friend. So what do you think of Soccer Island? Well, it's not every day I get to play on top of a volcano. Duh. You people make me want to puke. I'm going to the VIP lounge. This is a great honor. Now where's my gift bag? I won. But he didn't even have a golden ticket. What did I say? Fake. Maybe it's meant to be a twist ending? Yeah, the twist is we just wasted our afternoon. At least we still have the delicious food. Huh? No! 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 Reality TV sucks! Told you! Totally sucks, dudes! Say, Mon Mon. It's me, Shakes. You know, the guy who's always sticking his nose in other people's business. Bravo, bravo. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, brilliant. Thanks, Tony. <laughs> Not you, Chuck T. Jefferson. My Technovision glasses. The glasses you are wearing are the perfect training device. I can load any player from any team into your field of vision. I've even got managers, reporters, all kinds of stuff. I don't know, Tony. These things make me feel like I'm going crazy. Oh, wait. There we go. Better? Hi, Tony. Can I try the movie glasses? John J. Johnson, Jr., you're supposed to be sorting out the vermin problem. You don't need to worry about the skunk, Tony. I've taken care of it. The stink bag is finally gone? You'll never see that skunk again. <laughs> Glasses right now! <laughs> Technovision isn't a toy. It should only be used for training. <gasps> or sabotage. <laughs> Say hello to the biggest star in Hollywood. <laughs> no, really, I must be like 20 feet high. El Matador, you've scored 10 goals in four games. What is the secret to your phenomenal form? Well, Lena, when I look my best, I play my best. The shiny teeth. The giant head. The perfect hair. The incredible self-indulgence. And the finishing touch. My custom design, super expensive, one-of-a-kind glasses. Ooh. Ouch! Nobody touches the glasses. They're so copyright protected, if I try to make another one, I'd have to sue myself. Hurry up, El Matador. Coach is waiting. You can't rush perfection. Ugh. <laughs> Dude takes more showers in a day than I do in a month. Uh, well, it's working. Celebrity Stalker magazine says El Matador is the hottest player in the Super League right now. What? They were handing them out for free on the plane. Uh, no they weren't. We got here on the striker jet. <laughs> <laughs> El Matador is the best player. He is the one all fans adore. El la 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 My redesign worked. It's the perfect replica. With a bit of technovision magic, of course. Huh? Oh, uh, I'm looking great. Uh, Gonna uh, score lots of goals today. You uh, a skunk! I'm getting out of here. The skunk. Mm. Uh, it stinks! When I get my hands on you, I'm gonna drop. Hmm, my glasses feel kind of weird. Did you guys mess with them? Nobody touched your glasses, man. Yeah, don't want to get sued. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's get down to business. First of all, we'll map up Hello? our defensive response. Tony? We'll tight defense around the goal. Nope, but there. A staggered defense. Tony even lets Super Strikers use the movie glasses. Hmm, if I can't use the movie glasses, 
Maybe I can make the movies. <laughs> it's showtime! Technically, have been very good in attack, overwhelming the opposition with their numbers. But pushing all their men forward leaves the defense exposed. <laughs> and we got just the man to make them pay. Right, El Matador? Huh? Mm -hmm. El Matador! I swear something feels weird about my glasses. <sighs> Let's do it, guys. We got to be prepared for Technicali. Yeah. Who knows what that madman Tony Verne is up to? Day one. It stinks so much. I have stuffed El Matador's socks into my nose to block out the smell. It isn't working. Oh. Hmm, what should I do for my first scene? El Matador! Can I get a photo? Uh, who do you work for? I only appear in A-list magazines. Uh, um... Ponytail magazine? Oh, of course. Uh, just make sure you get my good side. Go! And cut. What a scene. John J. Johnson, <gasps> Jr.? What are you doing in my lab? Oh, nothing, Tony. Ew. What's that smell? I don't want to talk about it. I'm out of door. I was wide open. Sorry, Shakes. I was going to pass, but that reporter wanted my photo for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, <laughs> what reporter, dude? That guy, right over... Huh? He must have already got what he needed. I am very photogenic. Anyway, a good practice, guys. I'm gonna go take a shower. Did you guys see a reporter? Mm -hmm. According to Pointless Gossip magazine, El Matador is showing all the signs of a celebrity breakdown. I bought it for a friend, okay? Oh, yeah? What's his name? Never mind that. It says that the clear signs of a complete mental breakdown are paranoia. He was convinced someone touched his glasses. Hallucinations. Like the invisible reporter from Ponytail magazine. <laughs> Anything else we should be looking out for, man? An urge to trash hotel rooms. How about locker rooms? What? I'm sorry, El Matador, but this is for your own good. What is? A celebrity intervention! Get him! Uh, how many times do I have to tell you guys? Some mysterious intruder messed with my glasses, a skunk trashed our locker room, and the reporter took my photo at practice. Uh, denial is a clear sign of a celebrity breakdown. You guys are just jealous that they chose me for the cover of Ponytail Magazine. I looked it up. There's no such thing as Ponytail Magazine. Yeah, dude. Ponytails were not a fashion in the 80s. How dare you? Uh, Shakes, you believe me, right? Uh, I, I, uh... Fine. I'm going to go hang out with someone who knows what it's like to be a big superstar. <laughs> all right, all right, we get it. <clears throat> that went well. <sighs> I'll go speak to him. Well, hurry up or you'll lose him, Shakes. Well, not unless you know the big superstar he's going to hang with. But we are in Hollywood. That could be anyone. Don't worry. There's only one big superstar El Matador listens to. Oh, El Matador. It's tough being a misunderstood, rich, incredibly handsome soccer star. I know how you feel. Huh? John J. Johnson Jr.? Tony never trusts me to do anything. But he's not here. <laughs> but I still believe in myself, no matter what anyone says. Uh, do you always go out dressed like that? Uh... The 80s are back. Spandex is totally fashionable. <laughs> you should tell that to North Shaw. My ponytail is so in. Congratulations on making the cover of Ponytail Magazine, by the way. Why, thank you. Hey, how did you know about that? Uh, news travels fast in Hollywood. Okay, this is my big chance. What do all good movies need? <gasps> 
drama. No matador, what's wrong? Uh, my teammates think I've gone crazy. Say, do you hear that music? Mm -mm. Drama, check. What else? Action. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, ninjas? What are we gonna do, John J. Johnson Jr.? What do you want? We are jealous of your awesome ponytail. Give it to us or face the consequences. You want my ponytail? Come and get it. So be it. Bro, we're bros, and bros shouldn't fight. Right, bro? Nah, lame. El Matador, we're all just worried about you. C come back. Pfft, sound like his mom. El Matador, being in a team is all about trust. What I'm trying to say is, I don't think you're... Huh? Crazy. Shakes! Help! El Matador? Oh, sorry. This isn't over, El Matador. Your point there will be ours. <laughs> <laughs> Shakes, and those evil ninjas were after my ponytail. El Matador, I think you should look at this. Huh? <laughs> oh, man. Klaus was right. I am having a celebrity breakdown. A game against Technicali. It's tomorrow. Oh, Shakes, what am I gonna do? Maybe you need to sit it out? You wouldn't tell Coach, would you? Dude. We have a chance to beat Technicali on their home turf. Come on! I'm your friendly, super reliable, gold-getting strike partner. I'll be fine. <laughs> Match day at the hub. And it looks like Technicali are sticking to their attacking formation. With El Matador in red hot form, they'll be torn apart. So Shakes, dude. What happened with the Lord of the Shower Rings over there? Yeah, is he seeing things all way? Is he in the right frame of mind to play? Well... Hey, guys! Yeah. What are you talking about? Yeah, uh, like I was saying, he's totally fine. Day two. The smell isn't going away. But I must remain focused on my mission. All right, El Matador, it's showtime! And we're off. <laughs> Cheeky shakes! And highly effective. <laughs> El Matador has an early opportunity here. He's clean through. Huh? Where'd you guys come from? From your worst nightmare. Shakes, back to you! Instead of shooting, El Matador passes to a marked man! It works! I'm a genius! Wide open, dude. Yeah, I know. Oh. Oh, trouble here for Super Strikers. Electrifying stuff from the Technicali boys. Technicali achieve on their first try what El Matadors failed to do the entire half. Dude, you're not handling the pressure. I gotta tell Coach about. Ah, whatever, Shakes. It's like John J. Johnson Jr. said. I gotta believe in myself no matter what anyone says. Wait, when did you see him? Uh, last night, just before the ninja attack. He wasn't real, was he? <laughs> but if El Matador wasn't lying about the skull, then. John, who's on the cover of this month's Ponytail Magazine? El Matador, obviously. Uh, I mean, I've never heard of Ponytail Magazine. Uh, gotta go. Bye. 
Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Shakes knows about Technovision. Oh, I gotta fix this. Hey, I thought those glasses were only meant for training. Tony? Why did Tony ask us to meet him here? Tony! Oh, yes! Much better! What have you done? It wasn't me. It was the skunk. I'm talking about El Matador's glasses. I thought you might need a little help with, uh, you know, winning. Oh. oh, quit moaning. You have a goal. But I want goals fair and square. Now listen, El Matador is being subbed as we speak. Hang back, defend your lead, and the game is yours. Any questions? Yeah. What's that smell? Oh. I think it's obvious that one of us has a serious problem. All right, I admit it. I am addicted to the gossip magazines. I need help. You were talking about El Matador, weren't you? Guys, I just saw a skunk. Uh, good for you, dude. Don't you get it? It means El Matador wasn't lying about trashing the locker room. And that's not all. John J. Johnson Jr. knows about Ponytail Magazine. How would he know about a made-up magazine? Because he's the one who made it up. So what is going on? Whoa, whoa, easy there, brother. <gasps> oh, God. Okay, keep cool, John J. Johnson Jr. You gotta get to El Matador before Shakes does. What? <laughs> Hi, El Matador. Uh, listen, buddy, I'm not feeling that good, so when I come back into the change room in a moment, I may be acting a little crazy. Ha! You know the rule, Shakes. Uh, I'm calling my law. Oh. <laughs> hmm? So you just ignore everything I say. We need you on the field for the second half. Okay, he's gone. Huh? Tony Vern swapped your glasses for some kind of VR projection goggles. I... I'm not crazy. Can you play without your glasses? No, coach. Then I'm gonna have to sub you. Uh, Tony Vern sabotaged my game and made you guys think I was crazy and worst of all, touched my glasses. Uh, you gotta let me get back at him. Hmm. The two sides emerge for the second half, and first out is El Matador. I'm surprised he's on the field at all after his terrible first half performance. They didn't sub him? Oh, well, El Matador, you're about to find out what this baby can really do. El Matador on the attack. Can he find some form in the second half? Ha! I'd be surprised if he can even find the ball the way he's been playing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got past two players. Here's ten more! What's he gonna do, people? He's gonna pass to himself. Oh! Tech Division is meant to make him worse, not better! How about some special effects to liven things up? <laughs> Nobody touches the glasses. Not a big fan of Ponytail Magazine. <laughs> That'll do. Back to me. Eat this, 
Fido. Amazing. Unbelievable. Unstoppable. <laughs> Oh, not the Boris rules today are going straight to the highlights of the year. <laughs> How can this day get any worse? That'll do it. Dude, that was like the craziest goal I've ever seen. Yeah, much better than being crazy. <laughs> Sorry we didn't trust you, man. Ah, don't worry. It was Tony's fault. Are we gonna teach that sucker a lesson? Well, Spiteful Teen Magazine has an article on the 10 best ways to get back at an ex-BFF. Don't worry, guys. I already know how to make Tony pay. Get your high-tech augmented reality technoglasses right here! Uh, at least I can make my money back on these stupid things. <laughs> Boss, I found some people interested in the movie glasses. Ah, welcome, welcome. And who do I have the pleasure of doing business with? El Matador's lawyers. We're here to talk to you about copyright infringement. Oh, what is that smell? I don't want to talk about it. Great accuracy, boys. Yeah. Looking good, Captain. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. good isn't good enough. Oh, come on, Coach. Coach, we're totally awesome! No? Take a look at this. Colonel Von Pushup, you just crushed Hydra in their home waters. How'd you do it? Johan Uber's marshalling in the midfield was visionary. Thor's shooting was unstoppable. And no one can get past our newest weapon, the Mangler. <laughs> Are you confident you can execute the same against Super Strikers next week? The Fortress Stadium may be up in the mountains, but Super Strikers are going down. <sighs> this is Lena Long, Football 360, signing out. <laughs> Feeling warm and looking good. This is why I never pack light. Coach, uh, can't we have our secret training mission somewhere warmer? I want you all ready for the extreme cold before we play at the Fortress Stadium. That's not gonna help us if we can't get past the Mangler. Dude's super scary. It's like he reacts before you even kick the ball. That's why we have this. A ball? This new plan of yours is pure genius, Coach. This isn't any ball. Whoa. It's GPS chipped for tracking speed, air pressure, and direction. If you can kick the ball harder than 100 miles an hour, you can beat the Mangler. Man, that's fast. Never stop believing. It is possible, Shakesman. Right, guys? <laughs> Dot the spirit block. Car. Brogger? Super Strikers, this is your pilot speaking. Please fasten your seatbelts. We're in for an interesting landing. Attention, Iron Tank! This is your coach speaking! Ah, we can hear you! We are right here, Colonel! Colonel, I have picked up a nearby GPS signal! All the way out here? Hmm... Directive, change course! Ah, directive understood. Ah! 
smooth landing, hey boys? Man, too smooth. <laughs> Big Bull, your mangler for the afternoon. Sure thing. How's this? <laughs> Not bad. The rest of you, let's get to it. <laughs> Fast, Shakes. Sure thing, Coach. Ah! Bring it. <laughs> what? Strikers, what are they doing here? Directive, Lippery! Of all the icebergs they could run into, it had to be ours? Blog or blog? Smooth, 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 smooth. Talking in code. Very clever. Colonel, the chipped object is moving. Directive, find the source of the signal. Already have. Let Whoa. me see. A GPS ball? I think I know what Super Strikers are up to. Vaughn push-up. If I'd known you were visiting, I would have tidied up. Well, considering we are here, how about a little friendly? You're on. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel, the ball reached 72 miles an hour. Ha! Takes more than that to beat the mangler. Shakes, man! Hands up! Yes! Colonel! Dancing Rasta beats the mangler! What? Directive! Get the ball! Directive understood. That was amazing, Captain. How did you do it? You won't believe what happened. I... Huh? Where's he off to? <gasps> the ball! Captain, wait! Iceberg now. We're all taking a long, cold swim. Come on, Captain.
feeling so cold yet? I'm just getting warmed up, man. Mission. Don't worry, guys. I know just how to wake him up. <gasps> oh, dude. Nope. He's out cold. <laughs> equipment all the time. Is it gonna be okay, Doc? Your captain's had a serious shock to the system. His body isn't used to such extreme cold. Unfortunately, I can't say what will wake him up. He could be asleep for a few hours, or... Or... or what? Or... a very long time. Captain, when you awaken, you will be in this foreign place without the necessities of life. So I leave you this gift, the world's most powerful hair dryer. Technical difficulties? Yeah, water damage. Don't worry. Keeping our equipment running in this court has taught me that sometimes all you need is a little bit of improvisation. <laughs> Target reacquired. Directive. Liberate! Don't worry, the hair dryer trick works every time. How long will it take to dry out? Hmm, difficult to say, but I'll call you as soon as I can access the data. Directive! <gasps> Stay out! Day at the Fortress Stadium, Brenda, and the teams are warm enough. But without dancing Rasta, will Super Strikers be left out in the cold, Mac? Uh, is that what I think it is? Uh huh. Sure, you didn't see how Rasta did that power kick? You were right there, brother. Heads up! The mist was too thick. I couldn't see. Huh. Frozen ball, a frozen captain, and a frozen brain. Great. Come on. There's nothing we can do about the ball right now, Shakes. Concentrate on the game. Super Strikers are no nearer to beating the Mangler. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dancing. I guess they really do need Dancing Rasta, mm -hmm. Mac, but he's... he's nowhere to be seen. Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! Dancing Rasta! 
Yes! <laughs> Directive, move on target. Directive, understood. Hi, Shakes. Hello, Doc. Great news. All the data is still intact. Are you with the ball now? No. Why? Approaching target. I would take her after the ball. Don't worry. I'm right next door to... Hey. Don't even think about it. No! Directive! Get that ball! Give it up, man! As my doctor, I prescribe lots of rest. Captain, huh? you're okay. Oh, everyone's gonna be so relieved. And you can tell us how you beat the Mangler. Sure. One thing, though. Shoot, Captain. Who are you again? You knew that ball was our best shot, so you tried to steal it again. Yeah, well, it seemed easier than stealing Rasta. <laughs> well, you should have stolen Rasta. Huh? Hmm. Hmm? Yeah! <laughs> welcome yeah. back, Rasta. Welcome back, dude! Great to meet you. Uh -huh. Oh, right. Shakes told me. We're teammates. This is a cruel disease. How can anyone forget me? I want to help you guys, but how can I be the captain of D Super Strikers? Hmm. Huh? <laughs> well, if anything's gonna remind you who you are, it's this. Thanks, Shakes. Shake's mom, eh? The real Rasta calls me Shake's mom. Well, he's not here right now, okay? The return of their captain, even from the sidelines, could be just the chance Super Strikers need. Well, he'd better work his magic soon, because Super Strikers are running out of time. Run. As the play intensifies, Johan Uber takes things a bit too far. You and your captain are as ineffective as each other. Shakespeare! It was it was just Shakespeare. What's he what's he saying? That's easy. It was downward pressure. Shakespeare. Mm -hmm. Their captain on ice. Super Strikers are looking directionless. So, what's the plan? 
stand on the ball. Brilliant! Uh, no, wait. The exact opposite of that. Downward pressure, push down on the ball, and it'll shoot out like a rocket. Where do you get this crazy idea from? Dancing Rasta. Um, which Dancing Rasta? He's back, El Matador. He called me Shakesmon. Ugh, guess we got nothing to lose. Except the game, right? Come on, Shakes and El Matador. Time's a ticking. Final chance of the game. <laughs> Team effort, as usual. Now come on, guys, let's go home. I've had enough of this cold. Hey, check it out. Directive Scrub! I really, really hate the loudspeaker. I guess Iron Tank's performance was really substandard. <laughs> wow scenes at Strikerland as the Grim FC two of us and rolls into town. And part of their entourage, a terrifying new move that no goalkeeper has been able to save, the ghost train. Let's find out more. Coach Belmont, how did you come up with the ghost train? I didn't. Every coach in Grimm's long history has stored their football knowledge in an ancient, powerful book. The Tactinomicon! <gasps> Could someone please close that window? Sorry! Uh, Whatever. So over the top. The ghost train does sound kind of... Don't say it, dude! Scary. Huh? Why? Really? Uh, aren't we gonna need a goalie to stop the ghost train? Yeah, why does Big Bo get time off before the game? Big Bo is doing top secret preparation for the ghost train. He's our last line of defense against them. Does playing Super Strikers have a personal significance for Grim FC? Big Bo did accidentally injure your legendary striker, Spike Dawson. Not at all. Spike Dawson was a great player, but his spitefulness tainted the good name of this club. I'm glad to say we've seen the last of him. Ha! <laughs> That's what you think. My beautiful trophies. But my collection is incomplete. Not for long, though. Soon I will end Big Bo's career just like he ended mine and claim his gloves as my final trophy! Mike! I baked you some strudel! Mother! Don't interrupt me while I'm plotting revenge! Don't you batch at me, young man! Sorry, Mom. Planning to leave the goalie cave anytime soon, sir? It's getting musty in here. All worth it, Albert. I'm beginning to understand how Grimm's new move works. They stay in a very tight formation to hide the position of the ball. 
The keeper doesn't know where the shot is coming from. My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on to stand any chance against the ghost train. And how do you plan to achieve that, sir? The quad cannons. I told Grim FC they'd be nothing without me! Especially after I steal their precious Tactonomicon! Now, to pay Big Bo a visit. Mom! I'm stuck! Don't worry, dearie. I'll get this fruit of grapes. We'll get you out of there in no time. Activate quad cannons. Quad cannons activated. <laughs> yes, yes, I heard you the first thirty times. Would you like to buy some strudel, dearie? Hmm. Delicious. Come inside. I can't resist a good strudel. Why, thank you. Dearie. an authorized quad cannon technician. Ah, my beautiful trophy. <laughs> this revenge thing is getting really old, Spike. I won't stop until End I... End my career just like I ended yours. Like I said, old. But I'm not injured. Your plan failed. Ha! Ah, that's what you think! But you're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo. Huh? Huh. Uh, excuse me, sir. Could you help me, please? I'm terribly sorry, sir. That old woman lured me in with lies and delicious strudel. That wasn't an old woman. It was Spike Dawson. Spike Dawson? After all this time, what are we going to do about him? Nothing for now. I need to rest up for the game against Grimm. Are you done playing with your friend, Spike? Sworn enemy, Mother! Big Bo is my sworn enemy! And the game I'm playing is only just beginning. <laughs> Super League Disciplinary Board. I have information regarding the theft of the Tectonomicon. Morning, sir. Sleep well? Yep. I'm ready to bring the ghost train screeching to a halt. Don't buy any strudel, okay? Very funny, sir. 
I'm Agent 1. I'm Agent 2. From the Super League Disciplinary Board. I don't have a number yet, but if I help crack the case, I can totally earn one! Read your agent rulebook, rookie. Rule 4.73. A Super League agent always remains calm. It keeps your mind clear and makes you look extra cool at all times. Uh, how exactly can I help you, gentlemen? We got a tip-off that Big Bo was involved in the theft of the Tactonomicon. You're not the only one who knows all the angles, Big Bo! Spike wasn't trying to injure me. He was trying to frame me. Mind if we take a look around? What makes you think Big Bo was involved in this crime? We got an anonymous tip. Besides, with Big Bo facing the ghost train, no one would have more to gain from stealing the book. I found it! I found it! I found it! I found it! Protocol, Junior. Rule 1.7. A Super League agent never smiles. There's some kind of grease on here. Same stuff we found on Grimm's bus. Big Bo is now our prime suspect. <laughs> I want Strike Land secured immediately. Spike must have planted the Tactonomicon here last night. He's trying to get me banned for life. So, what are we going to do about it? Clearing my name would be good, but duty calls. The game, sir? At the risk of stating the obvious, there's nowhere to hide on a football pitch. Hmm. Maybe I don't have to. Here we go. The Super League Agent's Rulebook. I have a plan that'll let me play the game, stop the ghost train, and prove Spike framed me. Sounds easy enough, sir. Match night at Strikerland. And the terrifying Grim fans descend on the stadium. But they're nothing compared to the team itself. <laughs> But by far the weirdest thing tonight is Super Strikers are starting with their number two goalie, Noah Murdoch. If any goalie can stop the ghost train, surely it's Big Bo. Hear that, Brenda? Chugga, 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 chugga. Do, do. Here comes the ghost train. Where's the ball? No idea, dude. Super Strikers are going to need a bigger goalie. Hold it. We're looking for someone matching your description. Never mind. Move along, kids. I'm so sorry, guys. I let you down. Don't worry, dude. No one's been able to stop the ghost train so far. <gasps> Big Bo? Where have you been, man? Well, Spike framed me for stealing the Tactonomicon, and now I'm kind of on the run from the SLDB. Huh? I hate to be Captain Insensitive, but did you find a way to stop the ghost train, Big Bo? Don't worry, guys. I know all the angles. Wait a second. If you can stop the ghost train, it'll totally seem like you stole the Tactonomicon. It is gonna look weird, man. Have you thought about, you know, missing the save on purpose? Yeah, some things are more important than football. Mm. Or not. I won't let Spike Dawson win. I'm gonna go out there, and I'm gonna stop the ghost train. How are you even gonna get on the pitch? 
This place is crawling with Super League agents. With a bit of luck and a bit of help from the Super League rule book. The good news for Super Strikers fans is that the hapless Noah Murdoch has been taken off. And the uh, bad news, Mac, is that they haven't replaced him. Super Strikers are starting the second half without a goalkeeper. Big Bo, stop right there. Rule 54.72, know the suspect. You put your whole career at risk just to learn how to stop the ghost train. There's no way you'd miss this game. You, you guys got it all wrong. I didn't steal the Tactonomicon. I was framed by Spike Dawson. Give yourself up, Big Bo. You've got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. I don't need to hide. Rule 7.94. Ah, don't tell me. I know this one. <laughs> no Super League agents are allowed on the field during game time. Slip through our fingers. I want him apprehended the moment the final whistle blows. Affirmative. 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 With Big Bo back on the pitch, do Super Strikers have a chance against Grimm? We're about to find out, Brenda. Affirmative. <laughs> All right, guys. Big Bo risked everything for this team. Let's make it worth his while. Affirmative. It's a goal. This is an outrage. Big Bo's a cheat. The name Spike Dawson ring any bells? Big Bo claimed he set him up. Bah! Ridiculous. Spike Dawson's ancient history. Hello? Anybody home? What's that? You're on the run from the law? I'll just let myself in, then. Oh, I've waited so long for this moment. With Big Bo out the way, I can finally collect my trophy! What? No! No! This can't be! Grim FC on the attack oh. again. But this time, the mighty Big Bo stands between them and the goal. Huh? He's playing? Those gloves will be mine! <laughs> so far, so good. It's all up to you now, sir. Big Bo helped his team level the scores! But his real challenge is about to begin! Uh, the Ghost Train! Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but kind of hope Big Bo misses. I know what you mean, man. Affirmative. You really need some new lines, son. Affirmative. Strudel? <laughs> huh? Crunchy, delicious strudel? Strudel? Get your hot strudel! <gasps> gotcha. <laughs> huh? We're well into injury time. Will Big Bo prevail? Or will the ghost train ride him down? I have to lure Spike out into the open, or I'm done for. But how? Ah, my 
you, Devotron. My positioning and reflexes will have to be spot on. Big Bo's taking the gloves off, literally. He's really bought into the whole showmanship thing. Big Bo will pay for his disrespect. Grim has broken through! Only Big Bo stands between Grim FC and victory! Can he do it? seem to be fighting over Big Bull's gloves. Hey, isn't that Spike Dawson? Gotcha. What? Big Bo was telling the truth. All agents move in. Get Spike, Spike Dawson. Dawson. You did it! <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. This soccer mystery of the century and all the strudel you can eat and I missed them both. Luckily, Big Bo catches everything. Yeah, man. You really weren't kidding when you said you had all the angles covered. How did he fit in there? Strudel grease. Ew. Hey, isn't that the same stuff they found on Grimm's bus and on the Technonomicon? Great work, Junior. You've earned these. <laughs> Protocol, Greenhorn. A Super League agent never smiles. But we'll allow it this one time, Agent 3. 127. Oh, what have I told you about playing in the garbage? Uh, sorry, Mother. Well, come on then. Let's go home. Superstriker's ace goal scorer Shakes returns to training after he's a rip. All right. I'm ready. Shakes, ah, amigo! Shakes. We're totally apt to have our star striker back, dude! But El Matador didn't go anywhere. Thanks, guys. I can't wait to score some goals. It's been way too long. Uh, you do know who we're facing next, right? Mm. <coughs> mm. Mm. Well, you don't need to worry about getting injured again, Shakes. Presenting the ultimate in soccer safety equipment! An airbag for your shins. I need someone to kick me. I'll do it, Klaus. <laughs> See? I am completely a ninja. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. What do you got for me, coach? Shakes? We, we need, need to, to test, test your, your match, match readiness, readiness before, before you rejoin, rejoin the first team. Match readiness test initiated. You're sure we aren't being a little tough on the guy, coach? If he can't take this, there's no way he'll handle Iron Tank. Match 
readiness rating, 25%, 50%, 75%. The moment of truth. Match readiness test aborted. You called it, Coach Ma. His physical injury is healed, but the emotional scar remains. You gotta be kidding me, Coach! You honestly expect me to just sit and watch while the guys battle Iron Tank? Of course not. I have an important solo mission for you. Super Strikers, we write to you in a time of desperate need. Only you can help us open our brand new mall? It doesn't have to be a mall opening. Movie premieres, theme parks, old age homes, take your pick. I don't want to make celebrity appearances. I want to take on Uber. You're not ready. Pick any event you want. Go anywhere in the world. But get your mind off Iron Tank. Video games on the state of the art tracking screen! Oh, oh, sir, sir, sorry, sorry, sir. Sir. Get back to work, you lazy dogs! Now, what is it you want to show me? Super Strikers have left for the Fortress Stadium. But Shakes is heading for China. Hmm. Suspicious. Keep me informed of all his movements. Well, sure beats them all opening. Welcome to the Yellow Emperor's Palace, official home of the History of Football Museum. Uh, thanks? Oh, sorry. Tour guide mode. Force of habit. I'm Xing. Come on, let me show you around. The museum features soccer from throughout history. That's mob football from 16th century England. Any number of players, no rules. Invincible United are playing in the wrong century. The ancient Greek game of Episkiros was more like modern soccer, with one big exception. Players could use their hands. Yeah, and they didn't wear pants. This is all very impressive, but why'd you guys need me here? You're gonna be the guest of honor at the unveiling of our new exhibit. You get to cut the ribbon. <laughs> all part of the service when you call Soccer Stars for Hire. So, can I get a sneak peek? Sorry, no one's allowed to see the exhibit before the grand unveiling. But I suppose I can make an exception for shakes from Super Strikers. What is that? Football's oldest known predecessor, Kuju. Players had to keep control of a ball while fighting off crazy kung fu attacks. This tapestry tells the legend of a teenager who single-handedly defeated a whole team of soldiers. Man. This is too cool. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on. Welcome to the Yellow Emperor's training arena. Whoa. Kuju was the Super League of ancient China, and the Emperor wanted to make sure his team was the best. So he built this place. <laughs> Sounds like Coach. I could show you some Kuju moves if you want, you know. To use against Uber if he tries to injure you again. Thanks, but, uh, Coach dropped me for the Iron Tank game. No ways. He doesn't think I'm ready to face Uber. Well, what better way to prove that you are than busting out some Kuju moves? No offense, but if I was going up against Iron Tank, I'd need to learn from a master. You know, long beard, flowing robes, in riddles does speak. <laughs> Looking at her. 
Status report. Thor is about to break the club record. Not the game. Shakes! Sir, Shakes is under the history of football museum. I knew he was up to something. Iron tank? <laughs> Get ready to die. <laughs> All right, then. Show me some of these kuju moves, master. Look around you, Shakes. Everything you need to learn is here. Go! What are you doing? Come on! Pick up the pace. If you can't dodge me, how are you gonna dodge a whole team of muscle freaks? Shakes, training is cancelled. What are you doing here? Ugh. I was wondering the same about you, Shakes. But now I see what you're up to. You plan to use this fighting football against us. Uber, you stalker creep. I'm not even playing against you. Coach left me off the team. Yeah, sure. You can't lie to a master strategist like me. I know your every move before you make it. Bet you didn't see that move coming, Master Strategist. Get her! She will teach us the kuju! Hey! Let go of me, Walrus! Leave her out of this! Or what? Yeah, I thought so. Coach was right. I'm not ready. A teenager defeated a whole team of soldiers. Iron Tank will try to break your rhythm and dent your confidence. Uh, coach, that's not the only thing they'll try to break and dent. That's why you need to pick up the pace. If they can't catch you, they can't foul you. We don't need to worry about that anymore, Coach. I've got a new safety invention, the Slippery Spray. Someone kick me. <sighs> this again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got to hand it to you, Klaus, man. That really works. Hmm, didn't see that one coming. All right, back to practice. <laughs> <sighs> back to the drawing board. the secrets of the ancient fighting soccer, or you're going for a long, cold swim. All right, all right. Close your eyes and all will be revealed. That doesn't make any sense at all. Kuju is an ancient sport, shrouded in mystery. It doesn't have to make sense. <sighs> Fine. <laughs> Why 
would I help you? You tried to end Sheikh's career. End his career? Please! A master strategist would never use such a crude tactic. The tackle on Shakes was just a way to implant a tracking chip. That's how they found me. Wait, if Uber put a tracking device in my leg, then... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another epic showdown live from the Fortress Stadium. Bad news for Super Strikers fans. Despite early signs that he'd be back from his injury, Shakes has not made the squad. Guys, you need to look after yourselves out there. We can't afford any more injuries. We're already one player short. Make that two, coach. Uh, where's Klaus? Let me guess. He's working on another safety invention? Huh? <gasps> Tiger is totally right. Uh, introducing my latest safety invention, this uh, suit of armor. You were hiding, weren't you? Yeah. The only way to avoid being injured by Iron Tank is to avoid playing them. You think this game will be less physical than the last encounter, Mac? I very much doubt it, Brenda. And by the looks of it, so do Super Strikers. They're keeping their distance from the tank. And it's working. Super Strikers have a chance here. <laughs> Goal! <laughs> but El Matador is down. If he isn't celebrating, it must be bad. Yep, the game's only just started, and the men in red are two Strikers down. Close. You're going on. Yes, coach. Faster! Now, Iron Tank have a chance to attack Super Striker's goal. Well, makes a change from attacking Super Striker's. Oh, spoke too soon. Here comes the cross, but it's way too close to the keeper. <gasps> or not. <gasps> Iron Tank have plotted their way back into the game. And with Shakes and El Matador out, Coach is going to need an ace up his sleeve to win this one. You can't give up now, Shakes. Um, in case you hadn't noticed, we're locked in a cell. Come on! That's nothing for Shakes from Super Strikers, right? <sighs> Doing here? Trained in an ancient temple, hitched to ride an iron tank submarine, you know, the usual. I specifically told you to get your mind off Iron Tank. Kinda difficult to do when they followed him around the world. Uh, this is Shing. She taught me an ancient soccer technique. Oh, uh, way too How many times do I have to tell you, Shanks? It's not about your technique. Now sit down. You're not playing. Man, coach is scary. Tell me about it. Go close! You can do it! Come on, Lanky! Give it your best, Rizzo. Uh. <clears throat> Don't make me tell you again, Shakes. I know. I'm not ready. But what other choice do we have? Shakes wasn't even in the squad. Then he's on the bench. And now he's playing? Hopefully he can last longer than his teammates did. 
seems Shakes is more resourceful than we thought. Don't worry. He's too scared to face me. 80 minutes gone, and the scores are still tied. But Super Strikers still have some life in them. There's Shake's first involvement. Can he make the difference? Attack! Or will I and Tank run him down again? Let's see how Kuji holds up in the 21st century. Amazing move from Shake! Oh, Shake! Uh. Where is he coming up with this stuff? Remember the Kuju legend. Time to finish the job! I can't believe that tiny chip caused that much trouble. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's smash the thing! Nah, I got a better idea. This is the first mission ever. Trincho finding. It will all be worthwhile when we find out what Shakes' new secret training is. Von I, how close are we? Oh! Over there! Dear Uber, bet you didn't see this coming. Oh, man. Clean your locker day is the worst. Shakes! <laughs> Hmm, I suppose my locker is a little untidy. No ways! My adventure annuals! I loved these when I was a kid. Oh, this one's my favorite. About a hundred years ago, a Brazilian businessman named Albert Douglas Ventura took on the most insane football project ever. Building a stadium in the middle of the Amazon jungle. Ooh. But the extreme location made construction a nightmare. His crew bailed on him, but Ventura stuck it out, refusing to abandon his dream. You do know that's totally made up, right? Ah, of North. course. <laughs> the lost stadium is totally real, Shakes. Oh, yeah? And where's Ventura now? He never returned from the jungle. Anacondas, piranhas, panthers! The Amazon is a dangerous place. Brazil has something even more dangerous than all of that. And he's coming to strike a lab. Match day at Strikerland! And Super Strikers are struggling to deal with Palmentieri's star man. The Master of Flair! The Samba King! John Aldo! Welcome to the end of the road. Hello. Ha! You think you can stop my samba style? That's cute. Yeah, you ain't getting past. 
fastest this time. Ha! You still don't get it? When you're as skilled as me, you do as you please. Maestro has made the league's best defenders look like amateurs. They had no answer for his unpredictable style. All right, drop it in. North Shore, you'll never stop Donaldo by diving in recklessly. You need to focus on the ball, not the man. Yeah, not the ground either, dude. This isn't good, man. Don Aldo seriously damaged their confidence. That's an understatement. We've got one defender who's playing too aggressively, and another who isn't playing at all. Come on, Block. Just one tackle, a little one. Please? He says he's fine. As long as his teddy sharing him helps him practice. Those two need a break. A chance to get their heads back in the game. How are we going to do that and get them to Rio in time for the return leg? I think I have a way. <whistles> North, Block, I'm sending you on a confidence-building session in the Amazon before the game. A jungle adventure? At a luxury hotel. What? But it's the Amazon jungle, Coach. It's meant to be about danger and excitement, not room service and little tiny shampoo bottles. The hotel has all the facilities and privacy you'll need to focus on stopping Donaldo. And who are we meant to play against? The bellboy? The world's greatest strike force. <gasps> have I ever told you guys I was a junior wilderness cadet? I promised to use my cadet survival skills to keep us safe in the Amazon. Yeah, Klaus. Maybe you can get your ordering room service badge. Uh, I got that one ages ago. You gotta try to make the most of the situation, dude. Whatever. And here's my Junior Wilderness Cadet Navigation Badge, my Campfire Badge, my Air Guitar Badge, my <laughs> Mime Badge, my Listing Things Badge, my Crochet Badge, my Life of the Party Badge, my Pancake Eating Badge, my Growing Up Badge, my Not Understanding Social Cues Badge. Whoa, this is gonna be epic. Glad to see you're making the most of the situation. No point in complaining. Yep. Totally gonna make the most of the situation. Come on out! This jetty has been certified safe by a junior wilderness cadet! Hold up, North! Coach said someone from the hotel was meeting us here. Come on, the place is just around the corner. Besides, we need to start practicing ASAP. Right? Yeah, uh, but... We got our gear, we got the players, all we need is the pitch. Okay, but only if you're sure you know where the hotel is. Don't worry, dude. I know exactly where we're going. Dancing Rasta. That was the hotel. North and the others didn't make their rendezvous. What? They're somewhere in the jungle. You're in charge till I get back. But coach, they're lost in the Amazon. That'll be like trying to find... There's some guys lost in the Amazon. Then I'd better get started. Um, what is that stuff? Oh, this? Volcanic ash and... Watermelon. Yeah, I fly some unusual jobs. You're hired. Name's Mara. Where are we headed? North, didn't you say the hotel was right around the corner? Chillax! It's a big corner! 
Yeah, what is that? I've got the Junior Wilderness Cadet Sound Identification Badge. It's a panther growl. No, 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 no. It's the wind. Hmm, perhaps thunder? I've got it! It's a waterfall! <gasps> waterfall! <gasps> to hang out in some lame hotel when we could go on an epic adventure. <gasps> you didn't. That's right. We're gonna find the lost stadium. That's insane. It's a made-up story. It doesn't exist. Um, Shakes? My junior wilderness cadet observation skills tell me that it might. to arrange the pickup somewhere down there. That'll be a fun landing. You sure about this? I've got a game to win. on the right path. We're supposed to be training for the Palma game, not going on some crazy treasure hunt. But that's the best part, dude. We can practice in the Lost Stadium. An actual pitch will be so much better than some hotel field. And it's not like we can go back to baby came. You do know this is the worst plan ever, right? Chill. It's an adventure, dude. <sighs> Come on, Mr. Ventura, lead the way. Okay, you were right. The Lost Stadium is real. Now come on, let's go do some long overdue training. Ah! Ouch! A hmm. So much better than some hotel field, eh, North? <sighs> yeah.
It's no use, dudes. The ball's bouncing all over the place. I can't follow it. Uh, ah, oh, great. Stuck in the middle of nowhere and we can't train? Don't worry, guys. I'll use my junior wilderness cadet training to come up with a rescue plan. We'll be out of here in no time at all. We'll never get out of here. And it's all my fault. <sighs> because I'm a fake. I got all my junior wilderness cadet badges on the internet. Wait, you didn't even have to go outside? Well, I had the window open. It's totally not your fault, Klaus. It's mine. Being dominated by Don Aldo, it, it totally messed me up. But instead of facing up to it, I, I dragged us into some crazy adventure. I put a tracker in Sheringham. I figured he'd be the one thing you wouldn't leave behind. So, did you at least manage to do some training? Pitch is covered with roots. It's too unpredictable. Unpredictable, eh? Get some rest, boys. We train at first light. point of looking good if your friends aren't here to appreciate your awesomeness. I kind of even miss Shake Smelly Socks. <sighs> no. Listen up, guys. If Coach says he's gonna find our brothers, he'll do it. And we gotta do our part by giving Palma the toughest game of their lives. We play our hearts out for the first 45. Keep the score at nil-nil. We can do that, right? Yes! yes. <laughs> then come on! Let's get out there and do it for our brothers. <laughs> yes. One, two, two, three, <laughs> Super Strikers! Game on! I've never seen Super Strikers use such a defensive formation. Not surprising, considering half their team hasn't shown up. What is Coach thinking? No idea. He's missing too. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? Huh? They don't have to. Dancing Rasta makes a brilliant tackle. It's all hands on deck for Super Strikers. Even their most attacking players are helping out in defense. <clears throat> but the question is, how long can they keep it up? <sighs> We're almost at half time. Don't let it slip now. And here comes Paul Mentieri again. This must be the final attack of the half. And for once, Donaldo makes it past Dancing Rasta. Can the reserve defenders stop the Samba King? <laughs> nope, his movements are just too unpredictable. Oh! Ecstasy for Paul Mentieri, but agony for Super Strikers. is about to start, and we have unconfirmed reports coming in that... Brenda! Could it be? But the 
way North shot and block played last game. Coach might be better off sticking with the reserves. And the second half is underway. After last game, I thought you two would run off scared. I'm going to make you wish you had. Now remember, watch the ball, not the man. Coach, we tried this and failed hard. The pitch is too unpredictable. Come on, dude. I know this isn't ideal, but... We've got to make the most of our situation, right? Unpredictable pitch is the perfect way to prepare for an unpredictable player like Donaldo. But how's it going to help us if we can't get back in time for the game? Don't worry about that. Our ride is almost here. But before we leave, I want to try one more drill. I've seen what the defenders have learned. Now it's the forward's turn. <laughs> with you, Coach. Actually, I've got one more job for you. This is how to soak away those aches and pains. Yeah, I think I just earned my ultimate relaxation badge. <laughs> Guys, come look at this. Remember when North said Alberto Ventura never made it out of the jungle? Yeah. That's because he spent the rest of his life chilling in this hotel. <laughs> it's just as well North isn't here to see this. I still don't get why he'd want to miss out on some mega relaxation. North hmm? hates this stuff, remember? So I gave him another chance to take on nature. 